start, we're going to chop a bunch of dill. So I've got here a good handful of fresh dill. Put this in and select her to... And if you hear the difference in sound, now you know that all of the dill is stuck to the outside of the bowl and nothing, none of it is catching in the blades anymore, so then that's the time to stop. So that was about 10 seconds, uh, maybe 7, because I let it go a little longer to talk to you. So here's the chopped dill. I'm going to remove this from the mixing bowl, because we're going to add it in at the very end. If we leave it in, A, it's going to cook it, and B, it's just going to turn on a very green, which we may or may not want. You know, it comes to about a couple tablespoons, a couple tablespoons of chopped dill. So I'm gonna set that aside for later. And put this back in place. Have uh, one onion in the quarters, three or four celery stalks in about one inch length. I have like yeah, three, three or four garlic gloves, some of the smaller ones. And three carrots also in um, about an inch or two inch sections. All right, we're gonna put our lid on and we're just gonna chop all of this up at speed, let's say five. So that was another 10 seconds. And here we go. And now we're gonna start cooking this. So I will push everything down in place and we're going to go with five minutes at temperature um, 212 so that's why we're actually going to go I'm going to go with Varoma because that's the highest temperature we can reach and we're going to go with speed one alrighty so here we are, that was about five minutes, everything is cooked. If we wanted it to brown a little bit, we would have to put it uh, in for a little bit longer, but that's not necessary for the soup. Now I'm going to add two or three zucchinis, also in big chunks, it just depends on how large your zucchinis are. Mine, this is three, and my zucchini were a little smaller today. And I'm just gonna give that a rough chop at four. Okay, that was five seconds. You can see the zucchini has been chopped in here. I'm gonna add the stalks of the broccoli I'm gonna be using. And a couple of potatoes. And then at this point, I'm also gonna add about half a cup of cashews. Half a cup of cashews is about two ounces. I add the cashews now so that they can soften a little bit in the hot liquid and uh, when it comes time to blend, they blend up fairly smoothly and will make the soup very creamy. And now I'm going to add uh, liquid to cover plus a little bit. In this case, we're going to go right up to the max line. Add just a splash more. This is some homemade veggie stock. You can use canned veggie stock from the pack, like a bottle or whatever you want to call it. Or you could just use water. There's plenty of flavor in the soup. You don't need to use um, veggie stock. If you, or if, you, if you don't have homemade veggie stock, you may as well use water because there really isn't all that much flavor in. Now we're gonna set this to 25 minutes. And we're gonna go again with Varoma. It's when I set the Varoma on top. So here is the, I'm gonna take the measuring wood out, measuring cup out. Here's the Varoma I put in the broccoli. Yes. I'm gonna steam those. And at the end, we're gonna blend uh, that together. And we're gonna set this, the blades to reverse and speed one. Put the lid on. And then I will see you in 20 minutes. Alrighty, 25 minutes are up. Let's take a look. So always be careful when you lift up the lid from the aroma. Okay, so here's the steamed broccoli. We move that over to the side for right now. I'm gonna check the potatoes. Make sure that they are cooked. 
So now we're gonna blend this. I'm gonna put some nutritional juice in it before I do. And now we wanna put the lid back, the mixing cup back in, the measuring cup back in place. I'm gonna see how high I can go in the speed here. Okay, so first I'm gonna turn off the temperature. And I'm gonna say probably about two minutes. I'm guessing it's gonna be about speed eight. Because the pot is very full. Alrighty, so here we are. That was we made it all the way to speed ten, so let's have a look and see. Looks nice. Here is the soup. Very creamy. To add a few more things, such as the broccoli that we steamed, then half a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar that gives a little bit helps with the cheesy taste. And a teaspoon of Dijon mustard. I happen to have a whole grain. Then the uh, dill that we made. to be uh, blended at speed four. Okay, so that's been about 10 seconds. Let's take a look. And yeah, delicious, as always. So you can serve the soup as a main meal and it'll, it'll easily serve four to six people depending on your serving size. My son I, eats a cup of it every day um, and it lasts us all week. I love taking a baked potato and putting the soup on top because it has that cheesy flavor and so it reminds me of like a baked potato with broccoli and cheese. Um, thanks so much for watching this video and uh, please remember to uh, subscribe and like. And if you have any questions or would like to have a personalized demo of what the Thermomix can do in your kitchen, please contact me directly.